In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your i1 speaker to your network using an Android device. So, the first thing we need to make sure is that your speaker's got power. So, I'm going to add the power supply in. You may see, the, you will see, sorry, the Ethernet ports flash. And then just focus in on this LED here. Just want to zoom in a little so you can see better. And there we go, solid red light. That sort of red light shows you that the speaker's booting up now. Um, and we're just going to let the speaker do its thing. And once we do that, we're going to get ready with our Android. So I'm just going to zoom out. And open up the Play Store app on your Android and search for Home, Google Home. Download if you haven't already. Open it up. Um, and you may need to sign in and create an account so please do so it's a very quick process and once we're here on this page where we can see devices favorites all this stuff and we just wait here okay and we're going to zoom in back into the speaker and you can see that the light is now fast flashing green which is exactly what we need to show that it's ready for pairing okay so speaker side but already so all you need to do really is add power to that now back to the phone make sure you're on the devices tab <clears throat> and then add a device set, set up a device, we're going to set up a new device so make sure you press new device on here um, you may have a few homes, you may have one just make sure you select the right one that you want to add your speaker to and then we're going to hit next Let it look for devices. Now, make sure, here we go, LIIO1, that's this I1 speaker there. Press next. Let it connect. Okay, I'm not sure if they might pick that up, but yes. And sometimes it's really quiet, so sometimes you might not hear it. So just press the yes. And then where is this device? So this will actually change the name of the speaker. So for example, if I did front garden front garden speaker, front garden, sorry, it will call the speaker front garden speaker. Okay? If you rather just um, change the name now, you can add a custom room and you will then be brought to a page where you can change the name to wherever you wish to your home but I'm just going to call it in the front garden press next here we have to add it to your network so make sure your network selected from this list and then hit next and now we just have to add the network password Once we've done that, it will say connect into Wi-Fi and we will just wait for it to be connected. There we go, it's connected. It's your personal preference if you want to link it specifically to your account or not. Um, you press next if you do, if not, not now. And then almost finished, continue. As you can see, the speaker is now called Front Garden Speaker, telling you it's ready, which is all good. Continue. And now it's up to you again if you want to learn about cast, how to cast. If you don't, skip tutorial. And then there you go, under local devices you will see front garden speaker okay and that's if you click on that you can now cast to, uh, to your speaker and you're all good to go if you want to rename the speaker we just have to go into Lyth Audio app so if you haven't already just search for Lyth Audio as you can see first option there 
I've already had it open, so I'm going to refresh it on the page, which is what you'll see when you open the app, uh, and you will see your front garden speaker. If you just want to drag from the top right to the left, you'll see a room settings icon appear. Tap on that. You'll see all the settings for the i one here, but the first option is the one we need, this one here, front garden speaker and a little pencil. Here we have some preset names, like that if you want to call it whatever you wish. But at the bottom, we have create your own name if you want to make it personalised. Uh, and here you just type in what you want to call it. So I will call it Lyth IO1. Create. As you can see, that that's been changed. So if I were to now go into the Google Home app and just refresh the page it's refreshed scroll down you can see the name has changed to life io1 and now you're all set so now you can chromecast your speaker um, from your phone or any device that supports it um, with that's connected to your network okay